Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Kibble Space Program. So today we are starting up a new series called The Sun Station. Now The Sun Station is called Icarus and it is from the film Sunshine made in the year 2007. Now Sunshine is a sci-fi film and very slow, fa uh, slow paced, also slightly confusing. I watched it, I enjoyed the film but it was slightly confusing, that was just it. Uh, a few things that I just didn't understand. But maybe maybe because I was just like skipping the video here and there. Anyway, as you can see, that what we're making the hit now is the sun station. Well, just part of the sun station. Obviously, it's going to be parts, and then we're going to go ahead and dock all the parts to make one huge, one huge rocket, or whatever it is. So, I was testing to see exactly how much thrust we would need for this thing to get into the air. And well, it is possible to get into the air with this thing. It works. And well, that's a good thing. I was a little bit afraid because of the wings. Because, well, the lift rating would have messed a few things up. But because I did everything correct when it comes to symmetry, there were no problems. No problems at all. Now, this rocket here, I actually forgot to put wings or anything to actually prevent it from going the wrong way. And well, it went the wrong way, as you can see. I tried to fix it up, but no, nope, it's impossible to lift it up without wings. RCS wouldn't really help when you are in the atmosphere. And here we go. This is a version of this is the rocket that actually has wings or something that can balance out the rocket easily. And this is a good design. It actually gets into space quite well, and you can orbit with this design if you actually know how to use it. For me, I didn't know how to use it. Nope. I did. My orbiting is not too good. I, I seem to have forgotten a few things here and there. Now, with my schedule, I don't have time anymore during the week at all. The only times I can make we videos is during the weekend. And that's a weird thing, what happened there. As you could see, um, for some reason, the, the rocket separated, but there was like... There wasn't a coupler or something. Well, that part wasn't meant to separate, but it did. So I don't know if it was me, the way I placed it, or I don't know, just a weird bug in the game. Who knows? KSP has a lot of bugs and glitches here and there. And you will see I was affected by one uh, while making this design. Now, the re entry heat for this design looks, looks really, really cool. You will see, watch this bright, bright red. And there we go bright red it's blinding it's it's very blinding yes it's quite a cool effect <laughs> yeah so yeah look at that that's what I get for time warp don't do that to people don't time warp your rockets <laughs> it doesn't end well so back onto my schedule or I usually like to make videos every second day but really I can't nope no time I have a CC, something called a CCNA exam to study for it's a computer exam that it's highly recommend, highly recommended in the computer, computer field, IT field, and yeah, I just don't have time for YouTube. Only on the weekends I can make videos. That's that's the only time I do have weekends, so I have to sacrifice my weekends because I do like making videos for you guys. I do that. It's a hobby of mine, but really, time is not what I have. And there's a bug slash glitch or whatever it was right there. For some reason, after like 20 parts or something get placed into each other, and I did not place it, it just happens by itself, the game, I don't know what the game thinks nowadays. It's been like that for quite a while, the KSP team hasn't fixed it up. I was actually surprised, I thought they did fix it, but nope, maybe they haven't even found it yet. But it is a popular, popular glitch slash bug. So, um, in this design here, I actually have four rocket motors. They are extremely useful and the most essential part of this entire rocket. Now, obviously this is a sun station, so we are going to go and orbit around the sun as close as possible. Now, it's going to be blinding and risky. First off, we can run out of fuel between halfway between Kerbin and the sun. That would mean I'd have to dock. I do believe that I may, I may have to dock at least once to actually get this thing all the way to the sun. Another problem is that I was thinking about either making each part of the station one by one, taking it to the sun, making half the station, 
taking one half to the sun and then the rest at another time or making the whole thing around Kerbin and then taking that to the sun now if I make the whole thing then obviously it's going to be a bit laggy and very dangerous because obviously um, there aren't any struts holding the whole rocket together, the whole station together so it would be it would be shaky and risky my goal I have the, I've decided to actually make half the station around Kerbin and then the other half, the half next time which will be better because if I do run out of fuel I can dock and it will be worth it now I just felt like it but I decided to go to the moon yeah so I went to, I went to the moon with this thing it actually ended up quite well it, it works very nice very nicely the nuclear rocket motors are just really awesome and you know what we need nuclear rocket motors that are the size of the rocket max engines if we had that that would be really cool although it's not really needed you can easily just duplicate them around around the fuel tank like I did pretty pretty simple yep also um, I've, I think I've mentioned this before I've been taking screenshots of random things within the game and so I'm going to make a theme pack a Windows 7 theme pack so I'll include it in the download link if it's not there it's either I forgot to make it or I couldn't make it because it probably didn't work but I've seen that apparently you can make a theme pack so I'll do that it will be KSP theme pack so just pictures of KSP stuff but it's not like it's not like the, the pictures are going to be modified the pictures are just going to be raw footage of whatever I took a screenshot of just like that see that's yep that's raw footage right there <laughs> it's pretty I think it's a pretty good idea hopefully it ends up well and am I recording yes I am recording okay I almost freaked out there because sometimes when recording software I actually use mirrorless action sometimes it just stops recording and there we go I actually fell down now obviously I didn't have any landing struts if I did I probably would have been able to land this thing but this is, this is a sun station not something that's made to actually land on the moon or planet and it doesn't even have any parachutes right so definitely not made for that and there I am just making more taking more screenshots as time goes and I have a whole bunch of screenshots now now what's really interesting is that when your curb your Kerbal when you're flying your Kerbal around and your Kerbal hits uh, something while in midair that Kerbal will get knocked out instantly and fall straight to the ground that's interesting that's what happens and you actually have to wait until the Kerbal falls down onto the ground in order to wake him up and then you can you'll be able to move him just, yeah, there it is see that fell down <laughs> that actually did quite funny too it fell down again so I had to stay a fair distance away from the whole rocket and it took a bit of time to do that and I was just waiting to press the, the F key on my keyboard F is to is to board onto your rocket that's the key F to board and there we go there, 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 yes got it okay so now you're wondering how am I going to get this off the moon how am I going to do that yep, the throttle up it works <laughs> I actually got this off the moon I was surprised when that happened yeah and look at the craters on the moon they look really really cool well done to the KSP team props to them well well done so on, on YouTube and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen th the best way to gain subscribers views fame is to make animation that's it animation you make one well-made animated video then you get instantly like a thousand subscribers G giving that you are playing a popular game minecraft for instance uh, there is a guy called slammer cow i remember when he first started up i kept an eye on his channel just to see how things would turn out he makes one video bang thousand subs easy so yep that's how some other youtubers have it nice and easy <laughs> But no, I have to do Let's Play. But I enjoy Let's Play, it's fun. But I wouldn't mind doing some sort of cinematic stuff. I do have some really good things in mind. I'm a creative person, if you haven't noticed. That's the way I am. Very creative. Very creative. Now, with the subscriber designs episodes, you guys have sent me a ton of designs. I'm really happy about that. Thank you. Uh, I've actually checked all my emails and went through them all. I have I have everything all sorted out so that when it, when it when it comes time for recording, 
I have all the content there and it, it's all ready just to just to be recorded yeah so a lot of you guys do send me small designs which is fine I actually like I laugh at some of the designs like I laugh at my own design sometimes but some of your designs are actually funny <laughs> some like uh, one design I had it didn't have any small gear bays so I had no way of properly landing the thing <laughs> so uh, but I did survive obviously because you, you can slow yourself down and right here I actually decided to get serious and do something for the sun base instead of going to the moon for no purpose and if you're wondering what happened to the rocket that you know I, I took off from the moon it turns out that my recording software for some reason just decided to turn off so yeah but here we go we, I created a perfect orbit or almost perfect a bit of leftover fuel there won't last very long probably like one one and a half seconds but anyway guys that is it for this episode I hope you enjoyed any suggestions feel free to leave it in the comment below and see you next time